Hey, hey what's, what's up, up Popstar? We're I am Five. Glad you're watching. <laughs> Will, start it. I'm Will. I'm Dalton. I'm Gabe. I'm Dana. And I'm Cole. So can you each tell me a little bit about where you're from originally? Uh, I'm born and raised here in City City, California. I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Mine in Florida. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And like my man Dalton, I'm a Dallas boy. <laughs> Now I know there was really like a nationwide talent search really to find you guys So what was it like when the five of you finally came together and and met each other? Um, it was a little weird at first cuz I mean coming into it. We didn't know well I like this person, but um, <laughs> you can tell that we're kind of all different, but um, I guess that's why we go together so well. I mean, yeah. we just really get along. We love video games We love <laughs> just girls girls, girls. girls. <laughs> That's true. That is a common interest. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it was at first it was pretty nerve wracking. You know, coming to this whole new experience, knowing there's all these very talented guys that you don't, you've never met Thank before. You. Welcome. Uh, anyway, but yeah, you know, but as because we've been together for about a year and a half now, and you know, as, as as time has progressed, we we've grown very close, and we're like brothers now. So we do everything together and party together. Okay. Yes. Love that. <laughs> That's good, yeah. you know. <laughs> so, um, what can I guess if we can go down the line, tell me um, something that we might be surprised to know about the guy sitting next to you, and then when we get down to you, you'll mm. oh, tell okay. me something about him. Ooh, well, let's ooh, see. That's a good question. That is a interesting question. What do you um, don't say it. I'm gonna say it. He plays the flute. <laughs> I do. I'm a fluter. Um, this guy. If he's at a place for like more than two days, he will organize everything in the house. He organized my video games in alphabetical order. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need a freak. Um, Dana here has an obsession with plastic. Um, I, 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 no. He eats with plastic I don't, I, in his mouth. He drinks with plastic in his mouth. He chews on plastic. He, 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 plastic. he goes to sleep with plastic, plastic in his mouth. Like, not safe. He's well, obsessed with plastic. Well, well, over here. Um, <laughs> something about my man Cole. He's 16 years old, and his mom still cuts the crust on with his peanut butter jelly. Oh, <laughs> that's true. I hate the crust. What can I say? It's it's, it's bad. True. It's he's a mama's boy. So what about Will? Will he he was a, he's a black belt. That's true. Taekwondo. Yes, yeah. that's true. <laughs> that's impressive. So how long have you been doing taekwondo? Well, I, I'm taking a break now, but I I started when I was six. Okay. Yes. I took one time one class. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, me too. <laughs> one class. Oh, red belt. And the karate. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I have. Oh, I, have belt. I don't know Mario, but it's a black H and M belt. It keeps my pants up. So. You know, I should wear my black belt to keep my pants up. That'd be awesome. A black belt's a black belt, you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, for those of you who aren't from the LA area, um, have you relocated here now? I mean, yes, yes. all of us. So. I've, yeah, I've been out here for two years. I've been out here for a year and a half. I moved out here for the project. So. About the same. I've been here two, two and a half years, just like Gabe came here out here before the band. But, uh, like yeah, and myself, I moved out here, I think, a month before I got the audition for the band, so. I'm here, year 15. Yeah, about a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, so did you have to, like, show them all of the, all the sites here? No, they actually know better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in the lame part of LA. Like, they are the ones that show me, like, where to party. See, well, where to party. Coachella. I'm sure he knew all of this before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He just didn't want to make you feel bad, yeah. you know? That's right. That's right. <laughs> he wanted to make you feel welcome. So, um, how long do you guys rehearse each day? Well, every day we're, we're actually week. at a rehearsal place right now, but five days a week for about three hours, and then I would say uh, two times a week we go into the studio, we write songs, we record new things, touch up. So, um, our schedule is kind of all over the place. And now, now it's getting even busier, so. We don't even know our schedule anymore. It's getting because yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we're, we're starting getting, to work on our uh, yeah. our album and we're starting to record a lot, so we can put something out there. For and you. interviews like this. One. Yeah, right. interviews yeah. and events and red carpet events and it's just been really it's a lot of launching. And it's yeah. been great. What's it like going to red carpets and things like that, especially if you've never done that it's kind of kinda, thing before? It's actually sometimes it's kind of stressful because you don't know if like because like if you're on there for too long, they will shoot you off. Yeah, they're yeah. like, here, here. It, it's, I know for me, like an awkward part, like, because when we take a picture, it, 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 they're really small. Like it, on, so. on TV and stuff, it doesn't look like it, but they're small. So like, you're always like this, you're like just cramming yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. like, get closer, get and closer. Then, and then you're done taking pictures, and then you don't know when to move. Yeah. You take pictures and be like, 
Okay, you're done. Okay. And then all the lights <laughs> just blind my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. He just yeah. We'll go to a party and there'll be a red car, but we'll be blind. We have no idea what happened at the party. Yeah. yeah. Now, have you had the? <laughs> have you had the opportunity to meet anybody, um, any celebrities that you really, really wanted to meet that kind of made you starstruck? Um, I met this party we met Natasha Benfield. I met Victoria, crazy. Victoria Justice. I met Ian Summerholder. <laughs> Oh, oh wait! I know my the number one from a man Dalton, Kim Kardashian. Yes, we met her. Yes, we met. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, I, well, I met her. She I walked. We looked at her. We looked at her and smiled. I rushed across with my arm. He walked up to her and said, "Hi, nice to meet you." I'm he Dalton. actually had the guts to that go was up the and talk to her. Moment of I, my life. For me, I um, I don't. It was at the audition. Well, I met her once before, but she <coughs> didn't remember me because I, I guess I'm not an impressionable person. But, um, yeah, it's true. Uh, Nicole. Share Yeah. Oh. I know it's a complicated last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who would you love to collaborate with if you could work with anybody on your album? Well, I mean, we can go yeah. down the line. We all have something yeah. different. We all have different musical tastes. So I think it's all going to be different. So. Yeah. I'd say Bruno Mars, because I mean, just because like he's so like multi-talented. Like not only would he be like a good person that like we can sing with, but like he's also a producer. And a writer, I just feel like that'd be so awesome. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say Bruno Mars. Mm -hmm. so much, so much I'm sorry, Chris, Chris Brown for me. Yo, um, uh, Chris Brown. Yeah. And Bruno Mars would be kind of cool. The, my, my is Justin Timberlake. I want to, I want to do a song with him so bad. Sorry, there's people singing next door, and I don't, I don't know what they're doing. We have background music. We have background music. So enjoy. It sounds like they have a different sound than you guys do. Yeah, I think we're on a different radio station. Right. We're in a different decade. Yeah. So what was the audition process like for this group? I mean, how long did you? How many auditions did you have to go on? How long was it? I was yeah. I auditioned at like the very beginning. That was almost two years ago. Yeah, and yeah. Was, it was they the did, first one. Yeah. They did like a nationwide search kind of. They went in all the major cities, you know. Um, I'm not sure how many auditions they did. They probably did. They did it in was, LA, New York, yeah. Chicago, Dallas. Dallas. It was really weird because this was this was the first thing I had ever auditioned for, and so I'm kind of like one for one right now. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good record. You're not 100 percent of auditions for Dalton. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was actually kind of different um, for I think Dalton or maybe Dana and myself because Dana and I went to the. The last callback. I was there. That was there. But, 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 but did you didn't you audition before that? See. Okay. Yeah. But I I never auditioned before. Like it was just they they said hey come to this. I was like okay. And I got super scared. It was not a good day. It was, but I guess it, I guess it came out pretty good. It was late and it was really funny. Yeah. Yeah. He was disheveled. So at what point did the five of you finally meet each other? Um. Well, at, like Cole was saying, at the final callback. Um. That's three met. Well, I knew Cole before this. Yeah. And I knew Gabe before this. Yep. But uh, I met Dalton there, and funny story, when I first got there, um, there was a bunch of people from Dallas, and Dalton, he's a rocker, and there's a bunch of rock guys with the guitars, and before the band, I didn't really sing, and um, I was like, I saw him, I was like, Mom, I don't, I don't think I'm going to like him. I was like, he, he's, and, he's and real he different. Didn't. He still doesn't. He's, he's, I, I, he's, I, I, he's, I, he's not like him. He's here against his will. <laughs> well, I, met, I met these two six months ago, or three, should I say? You met me like three years ago. And then I met Dana. <laughs> we were acquaintances. <laughs> we were like we passed by today. Like, we like, supposedly, like, supposedly, me and Will were auditions, but we um, me and what? me and Will were just auditions together. Yeah, and it works. So as you see, we have so all this jazz then, into us. And um, hi, nice to meet you. You can walk by. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dalton. Nice to meet you. Will. Uh, hey, nice hey, to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, run. Hey, run. Hey, 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 that was friendly. Sorry for that commercial break. Right? <laughs> we're back. What commercial was that for? The jazz. The jazz. Yeah. It was jazz. Yeah. It's the 1920s. Yeah. Yeah. The roaring 20s. <laughs> um, if you could, uh, I know you um, just performed that cover before, but if you could cover any other song, maybe in concert, Ooh. what song would you like to cover? Wait, can we like do individuals? Yeah, Is absolutely. Because I have to think. Uh, and then I know what I want to do. I, I want to do, do, do Renegade by Styx. Oh, I've always wanted to do that song. Sticks is one of my favorite bands. Um, You're really gay, it's my favorite. Yo, Gabe, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to go. Go ahead, Gabe. I'll actually do uh, Chris Brown, Turn Up the Music. Turn yeah. Up the <laughs> Music. Holiday by Green Day.
Nice oh, one. You know, I would pick Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Oh, that's a good one. You know, I mean, if we could pull that off, yeah. that would be so epic. That would be yeah. so, yeah. Epic. so, um, coming back to me, um, <laughs> I, I go with the flow, you know, I, that's what I do. So if they want to do Bohemian Rhapsody, you just can't think of one. You just can't think of one. There's just so many selections oh, for the artists, I can't pick. That's a good answer. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> Now, is it tough balancing school and work and everything yeah, at the same time? Really, yeah. No, it's really tough. Like, no, well, no. before this band, we were all in regular school, but now we're homeschooled. Yeah. And it's totally different. Like, we don't have a teacher. Well, we have a teacher, but we, we kind of have to do it all on ourselves. Like, we're all like, oh, no one here to help us. Yeah. And it's like, well, we have. Yeah, Gabe, we have a is a, Gabe is in school because this kid it graduated. Technically, technically graduated. We're waiting to hear if we. Yeah, no that's way. why I said no. Not right now. It's hard for me. <laughs> not doing it. I'll answer that question, yeah. I said, we have a great school teacher that she helps us. Mm. Yeah, we have a studio help. teacher here, you know, to work with us and help us, and, and, and anytime we have questions, well, she answers. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> I think for me, I think for me it's, hard. it's definitely hard because up until this year, I've gone to normal school and didn't have an amazing job like this where I got to just do what I love every day. And, to, to try to manage, like, go and having fun, and then you have, you have to go back to school mindset. It's definitely hard. School comes first. School doesn't kids, say. Kids, I've been homeschooled. School. I've been homeschooled for, like, six years, so I'm incredibly socially awkward. But you know what? I'm used to it. <laughs> it's, ju it's just definitely different. Yeah, like, it's different. Yeah. Waking yeah. up <laughs> at cool. 10. And, yeah. I think we've all learned to manage it, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. And you know, at least you own the whole socially awkward thing. That's, yeah. that's important, yes. you know? No, you're not actually socially awkward if you can admit that you're socially yeah. awkward. Yeah. It's like... Right, you're self-aware. I, I know that what makes... the norm is, I choose not to follow. It's the really awkward people that as you can are see, like, no, I'm not awkward oh, well, at all. Yeah, as you can see, okay. he calls that, it the norm. That doesn't... She's like, hi, you are how? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> what would be the ultimate goal for you guys with this group? Uh, I think we all have different... Well, I think we all want to know. We want to be worldwide and yeah, you know, just everywhere, worldwide, touring all over the place, meeting all our fans all around the world. Just I just, that for big, me, I would really like a big following in Czechoslovakia because that tells you, like, I would that's like to be, you've made it if you're <laughs> the Czech Republic. Yeah, I would true. like to be known for our music a lot, like just, just be taken seriously and yeah. being being respected, and um, being so remembered. many great artists out there. And just because they don't have this certain image, they're not as big as they could be. But I think that we want to be both. I no, forgot that Czechoslovakia image. isn't a country anymore. Sorry. Um, yeah, we don't want to be just uh, just uh, for now. We want to be like for forever. You know what I mean? Like NSYNC or Backstreet Boys. You know, they're still going, and they've always been remembered for what they're doing and doing now. So I mean, we don't want to be a fad. Yeah. Right. Whatever that is. So we want to be fad. <laughs> oh, whatever that oh, is. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, like, it, it doesn't go. That's why it doesn't go to school. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>